Howdy y'all, Greg O's 55 here. I'm back with another video and this is going to be another cooking one. Reasons why is because it's cold out there <laughs> and it is freezing me to pieces. Yep, I'm pretty weak, but it's okay. So we're going to do this cooking video today. This recipe is going to be an old recipe, old fashioned recipe called, uh, uh, it's a peanut butter roll. I, it's a, I've seen them where they've called it a peanut butter pinwheel, but it's potato candy. It's just an, it's an old form recipe, but I haven't made it yet. Uh, the biscuit video, which is big, huge success. I've done them like at least a dozen times to get it right before I did the, did the video. But the potato candy here, I have not attempted on my own before. So it's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds. But without further ado, let's get started on it. And we'll either get to see some successful candy made or a blowed up mess on my table. <laughs> but let's get started. Now I did a couple steps already, but I want to go right through them right quick. For old-fashioned potato candy, you need obviously potatoes and what i did with these potatoes is the recipe i found which as well again credit to those who already have this recipe uh this one here you have to cook the potatoes so they are really soft um you want them just about as soon as you hit them with that fork you want them to start breaking up you want them thoroughly cooked then you get a sieve and you, uh, I did it in a separate bowl, but you press that potato down into the sieve and it comes through there and it just gives it a smooth texture to help with the candy later on. And you need about four tablespoons to get started. Now, everywhere I've read this recipe, including uh, the family, you, this is pretty forgiving. Yeah, uh, you, you don't have to get it exactly right. The, the universe doesn't have to be perfectly aligned for this recipe to work. And let's get started with it. So here I got four tablespoons of potatoes in there already. And there's no liquid in it. It's just dry. So now I got my about four cups worth of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar, some call it. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because I need some of this down the road. So I'm going to get about a cup in there. And we'll start stirring it. And see, they say that they, the, the sources that I read this said that the potato and the confectionery sugar will just have this reaction and it'll start forming the initial mix. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, that, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I've never done this. I remember my mom making potato candy. And back then, though, you're not really interested in the in the process. You just want to see the candy at the end to pig out on. But I want you to do me a favor and click that subscribe button and share it. And hit the bell. So you can send these videos out to other people who might like them and they might want to watch too. Let's add a little more potato to that. That's another tablespoon. And let's add a little more sugar.
see the good thing about videos is, is that I can mess it up. But you guys there back home are like, oh, maybe you should have done that differently. And it will help me succeed where this poor man has failed. <laughs> we'll see. There it goes. It's starting to firm up now. You know, so I had to use a little bit more extra sugar. But hey, this is the reality of trying a recipe you've never done before. It's one thing to see the videos and read the material and but there's no other experience than coming from doing it and going through the motions still ain't one to need some extra sugar though <laughs> I have seriously misjudged the sugar But it's supposed to be firm. It's not supposed to where you can hold it in your hands. This is definitely thickened up to maybe like a, a batter. We need it. We need it more than that. And that's why you prepare kids. Observations of this recipe though has turned to be that it is a kind of the eye of the beholder type deal. You I thought I had measurements down for this recipe, but it needed more than that. I guess where it's either I messed up on my end, because it ain't the recipe's fault, but it uh, you have to keep feeding it till you get that consistency right. There you go, it's starting to form up now. And I had to give an extra dose. I like to have it prepared where I just go bloop, there it is. But when you do a recipe you never tried before, I guess this is for this is what's gonna happen. So there we go. I like that now. It's starting to firm up really good. Stir. Stir goes. Now it's turned into like a observation. It's like a like a mashed potato. Yeah, potato candy, mashed potatoes. I swear it's almost there. want it to be like dough, at least what I can see of it, but it's still not wanting to get into that dough ball, just wanting to smear, I don't know if that's the correct word or not, something to note for you cooks out there, make sure you have plenty of powdered sugar, because this thing, my initial thoughts was it wouldn't eat a whole lot, but I did add that little extra bit of potato in this, it probably pushed, I mean, stretched it out, so I needed a lot more, but. It's 
Someone in my family tree that knows how to make potato candy is probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> but hey, this is my first time. And you don't know how it's gonna go till you try it. Starting to clump together now. Don't really want to give it another dose of it. I'm trying to scrape the bowl down. All right, I think I got it. All right, now what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna sugar my hands a little bit and put a little on my cutting board here that has a line of parchment paper on it, and see if I can flatten this out a little bit and get it to fold to mold. Sure, I'd like it to fold. We want it to mold. We're going to put a little powder right here to start on the parchment paper. That way it ain't trying to stick to the paper as bad. First attempt to grab the potato candy. He has a Play-Doh-like consistency, which, according to what I've seen, is supposed to be what you're after. There it goes. It's about the size of a softball. Let's move it over to the cutting board. There we go. So far, so good seems to be actually because I put that sugar there on the cutting board that ain't sticking it's wanting to just be like dough for bread and this situation calls for a rolling pin but I don't have one so we're improvising with one mason jar I'm gonna put a little, a little sugar on there from my table on it I don't think anyone will see the stamps pressed into it. I think I got it. It's not like paper thin so it don't like break through. But it's not uh, like real like an inch thick anywhere. It's... There we go. I think if I roll it down anymore, it's just going to be too thin. So we're going to leave it at that. And now, the next part of this recipe is the peanut butter. And I've got a third cup. That's what the recipe called for, but it turned out it needed a little more like on the sugar. So we might have to add a little extra. I'm using Jif peanut butter, which forewarned I'm not sponsored by any products of any kind this is just what I use for my home and I'm a Jif peanut butter guy I can eat other peanut butters but Jif holds the cake because it is made here in Kentucky and they do own a, a small facility down in Tennessee Memphis I believe a quick fact that Jif got its start in 1946 right after the war WW2 and uh, it was owned by three people uh, over the entire course to, to the present but the last purchase was in 2001 by the Smuckers Company that's right but anyway let's get the peanut butter on there So where I am a peanut butter guy, I like to have a little thicker layer, but I don't want to like make it to where you bite into it and it just, just blows out. 
I might like that. Other some people might not. <laughs> so it, in their for their piece, I'm not going to put it as thick as that. That's it. Now comes the hard part. I'm thinking, and it's going to actually peel this thing and roll it. All right, it is now detached, and I'm gonna pop this on a plate. Let's see about this. Let's see. There we go. Lift. It's longer than my plate, <laughs> so I'm gonna set it back on my cutting board, leave it on the paper, and put it in the fridge like a good boy before I make it worse. <laughs> that by no means is a perfect roll, people, but we're gonna cool it down and see how it turns out. Hey guys, Grey Ghost. I'm now back. The potato candy is out of the refrigerator. It isn't all the way cured yet, but I want to go ahead and pull it out and see what it tastes like. I kind of prettied it up a little bit, as best as this first time potato candy can be. Snipped ends, but I've yet to try it. And I want to, and I'm going to put it on here and show you what it was like and give you some comments. It's not pretty by no means. <laughs> uh, I should have put a little bit more sugar on the uh, parchment paper. And another thing I should have done is I shouldn't have added that extra dab of potato in the mix. I should have just added the extra sugar and it would have probably solidified a lot sooner. But it is an easy recipe, but for a first time ever trying it, I think it came out pretty good. But now the taste test itself. I will hold it up there and get a good look at it. It is not done by, by a chef of any means, but this is about eating. The taste is not affected by the appearance. So let's go ahead and cut a piece. And now mind you, when I pull this out, it hasn't chilled all the way through. So it's gonna come out a little, probably a little runny, a little, a little crumbly. See, I got a little bit of peanut butter on my, on my pan, but that doesn't look too bad, especially after I crunched it up trying to get it out, but that is indeed delicious.
I say a couple more practice times with that, I'll have some mean potato candy. But for a first time ever making it, I'm very well pleased. And I'd recommend anyone to try this recipe. But watch the video a couple times. Uh, see, see to succeed where I had failed in my observations. <laughs> but I encourage anyone to try this recipe. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Uh, would you like more of these videos? Or do you think I ought to just stick to my letters? <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, all glory goes to God. Grey Ghost out.